Hey guys, now in this example, we will be looking at uh, guided schedule classes. Now, guided schedule classes are a case wherein the chunk size is dynamic as well. Now, you have to you have to keep in mind in static class in static classes the chunk size is constant, the mapping is constant. In dynamic class, the chunk size is constant, the mapping is dynamic. Okay, here the chunk size and the mapping both are dynamic in guided classes. So let me explain how this works. So what happens here is that the iterations are assigned to the threads as the thread requests them. Okay, and the chunks are div are broken down uh, are broken down such that are broken down in a haphazardly manner, but less than less than the specified chunk size. Okay, less than the specified chunk size, and then each and then uh, other than that, other than that, it works like a dynamic class, except the fact that the chunk size is varying. Everything else is similar to that of a dynamic dynamic uh, dynamic schedule class. The threads just become the whichever thread is active, it comes and picks a random chunk, does the job, and uh, and then it then it goes to tr then it tries to pick another chunk. When that is free. It goes picks another, goes on and goes on and on like that. Okay. Now here's the case. Now the the, the guiding criteria are that <coughs> the chunk size. That that matters a lot. Now, if I don't give a chunk, if I uh, by if I don't give a chunk size, as in this case, the default chunk size is one. So what happens if the chunk size one is that? One is that. <coughs> uh, the chunks. Uh, what ha what happens? One is that. Um, uh, how do I how do I put it? The size of each chunk is proportion will be proportional to the number of unassigned iterations, okay, divided by the number of threads, and that decide decreasing to one, okay. That's kind of like a textbook definition of what I said, but uh, let me explain this clearly. Suppose if we, uh, suppose if the, guy, uh, the iteration uh, suppose if we have like uh, fourteen iterations in this example, <coughs> sorry, fourteen iterations in the exa example. Now the number of threads is four, so at 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 the beginning, at the beginning, <coughs> at the beginning, the chunk size will be 14 divided by 4. 14 divided by 4, which is something around 3.5, which is 3.5 iterations per chunk. Okay, iterations per i uh, uh, 3.5 iterations in one chunk. So which means it's not going to be 3.5 exactly. So it's going to be rounded up to 4 or rounded up to 3. Okay, so and that will be the first chunk. The first chunk will be let's say four, and then that goes let's say it goes four. Then what will happen is that we have ten chunk. We have ten more iterations, right? So ten divided by four is is two point five. So it'll be uh, is two point five. So it will be two or three. Let's say it's three. Now what we have is seven. Seven divided by four is one point seven five. So it's two or one. So let's say this is one for uh, one for simplicity, and then that being the case, now we have six more iterations. Six divided by four is one point five, so it's one or two. So let's say this is two, and then uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's four more. So four more iterations are left, and four more things. So it's going to be one. So what happens is that everything after that is going to be all the other iterations are going to be all the other chunks are going to be one. So, uh, so in this example, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In this example of fourteen uh, iterations, there's going to be eight chunks. First chunk has itera four iterations. Second chunk has three iterations. Third chunk has one iteration. Fourth chunk has two iteration, and the remaining four chunks have one iteration each. Okay. So that's how that's one uh, way of working with stuff. Other way, I mean that's that's how the guy uh, that's how the chunk size gets dynamically allocated, dynamically set uh, in guided thing. And then what happens is that when because whenever whichever thread is active, they'll come and pick up they'll come and pick up the chunk and they'll do the job automatically. Okay, so that's that's how it go that's how it goes. Okay, now to see this in exam to see this in action. Let's take an example and then let's uh, cross e examine this. Now here, keep this in mind. Uh, we don't have any. Keep this in mind that we don't have any uh, chunk size predefined over here. So, so the b default chunk size is kind of like set to one. 
so let us look this look, look at this example now clearly there are like uh, uh, now clearly during the beginning there are like 40 iterations and four threads so if we, if you look at that there it should be 3.5 iterations per thread okay so if you look at it so it will be rounded up to four or rounded down to three depending on the case and in this case it chose to round up it chose to round up and so there are four iterations in the first chunk clearly uh, iteration 0 1 2 3 form one chunk okay form one chunk and then that being said they, uh, they are done by the iteration 0 and thread 0 is go going away now let's look at the next chunk next chunk is 4 5 6 4 5 and 6 because this this chunk is done by thread 2 okay now because after this chunk is done there is only um, how many there are only uh, 10 more iterations to be done and 4 threads so 10 divided by 4 is 2.5 rounded up to rounded up to 3 or rounded down to 2 so we it's rounded rounded up to 3 so this chunk next chunk is 4 5 and 6 done by thread 2 done by thread 2 okay uh, the number is random this is the second chunk done by thread 2 and then after this we have a you have a we have about seven chunks remaining sorry seven threads remaining In the seven threads if we divide by four uh, sorry seven iterations there by four threads we have about 1.75 so it can be rounded up to two or rounded down to one so what it happened is that it rounded uh, rounded up to one so it rounded up to two so next chunk is eight and nine next chunk next chunk is eight and nine sorry seven and eight which is done by thread one okay and after this let's see um, nine of nine nine of them are over and then you have okay and then you have how many five and then you have five threads remain and then you have five threads remaining uh, sorry five iterations remaining so and four threads so five here before is 1.25 rounding rounding up to two or uh, uh, rounding down to one okay which rounding up rounding down to one so here it rounded up to two so I uh, next chunk has two iterations iteration nine and ten done by done by uh, thread three and then uh, 11 12 and 13 are actually sing are actually single pieces or the uh, what what could happen is that either nine and ten could be uh, nine and ten could be two chunks of one thread each or one chunk of two iterations okay okay so that could have been the case and uh, three and it could have been the case here here this is clearly uh, this this either this could be uh, this cannot be three chunks I mean this could not be one chunk with three iteration this is actually uh, three iterations uh, I mean one ch or three chunks with one iteration each done by thread zero so you see what I mean dynamically dynamically based on the number of threads and the number of iterations that are remaining the dynamically the threads have been broken down uh, the chunks have been broken down into smaller into, into smaller fragments that are approaching one approaching one and they go on with it okay now in the case where in in this case the ideal criteria won't work so if i were to give an ideal criteria something like uh, this uh, the ideal cri ideal thing is th 3 let's see how this works here here what happen here what happens is that what happens is that if i set if i set a number like this then this will not be uh, <coughs> the chunk size will never go beyond 3 that's what it says the chunk size uh, the chunk size uh, is sorry the chunk size will not go beyond 3 iterations because i've set the number to be 3 okay now if I set the guide if I set uh, if I set guided to be 2 check this out the chunk size the chunk size never goes beyond 2 okay um, let's see mm, with the restriction okay it the chunk size never goes beyond 2 what I mean is this follows so iteration 0 and 1 are actually chunk 1 iteration 2 is actually another chunk uh, I mean you might think that hey this the entire these three could be a single chunk right no because you see the guy because here the chunk size is determined to be 2 
so what happens is that the ch- the iterations I mean the chunk size at the maximum can be two or it can be less but it it will be never more than the two more than the chunk size de- we determined over here we set over here so the chunk size is two so this is one chunk and this is another chunk okay and then three four could be three four five could be a case wherein three could be a chunk and four five could be another chunk or three four could be one chunk and five can be another chunk something like that and then six and seven is clearly one chunk eight and nine is another chunk ten and eleven are other chunks or they could be one chunk each depending on the scenario depending on the scenario okay uh, now let's look at a case where the guide where there are where the divisions is more than the where the chunk size is more than the ideal division ideal uh, chunk size like chunk size so it's 5 so let's check this example out so if you look at this example clearly these for the this is actually one chunk this is actually another chunk this is another this is another chunk okay so if i were to uh, Uh, run this again run this again we might notice something interesting so clearly the, the, this is an exact this is one chunk and this is another chunk and so on and so forth so what what i'm trying to say here what i'm trying to say here is the chunk uh, i mean the division uh the division uh of the I mean, chunk sizes are being predetermined the chunk sizes are pre the chunk sizes are uh, sorry the chunk sizes are not predetermined they have been made on the run and the whichever uh, thread is active at that instant whichever thread is active at that instant uh, get picks up, picks up the chunk of its choice that to randomly and does the job and goes on as the threads as the chunks become more and more utilized maybe as the thre- thre- chunks become more and more utilized the chunk size actually goes down goes down the actual chunk size goes down and the guide and the why it's called guided is because the chunk size will never goes so here the chunks the chunk size is uh broken chunk size are broken down um, almost erratically here okay chunk size changes actually the uh, chunk size changes dynamically this number makes sure th- this chunk size number makes sure that uh, it does not go be, uh, it does not go and the chunk sizes do not go beyond that particular limiting value particular limiting value and that's how the case so so that's about that's about dyna- guided classes 